Catechism of the Catholic Church, also known as the CCC. Gives light to this word, let's reflect and you soon will see. CCC. Trinity Sunday is the first Sunday after Pentecost and it celebrates the Christian doctrine of the Trinity, the three persons of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, or the CCC, tells us in paragraph 45, God has left some traces of his Trinitarian being in creation and in the Old Testament, but his inmost being as the Holy Trinity is a mystery which is inaccessible to reason alone or even to Israel's faith before the incarnation of the Son of God and the sending of the Holy Spirit. This mystery was revealed by Jesus Christ and it is the source of all the other mysteries. This means the Trinity can only be proved through the divine revelation that Jesus brought us. It may be difficult for us to grasp the concept of the Trinity, but to help us understand this mystery better, I'd suggest you take a look at an article by Rob Agnelli titled Who is the Holy Spirit? on his blog, TwoWingsToGod.com. Rob uses the concept of perfection. He says, Existence itself is the most basic kind of perfection. As an example, he can create the perfect wife in his head, but if she doesn't actually exist, then she is not perfect. Well, if God has perfect knowledge of even himself, then to be perfect, that knowledge must exist as a person. This is the second person of the Trinity, the Son, the Word made flesh, the Logos. This second person then is the object of the love of the first person, the Father, for all eternity. Because the second person is also God, he loves the first person for all eternity. This love between the two persons is also perfect. This means that God the Father pours out all of himself into God the Son, holding nothing back. This perfect exchange is then a person himself, the Holy Spirit. You can read more about this in the article titled who is the Holy Spirit by Rob Agnelli on his website, TwoWingsToGod.com To conclude, I would say, as we are made in the image and likeness of God, we too are made for such a communion that binds us to God and neighbor through love. We may not be perfect, but it doesn't mean we stop trying. Jesus tells us in Matthew 5.48, Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Points of Reflection Do we acknowledge that we are made for communion with God and others? Are we actually spending time with God and others in a loving communion? Are we isolating ourselves by spending too much time on our gadgets? Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, who by His almighty power and love created me, the image and likeness of God. Glory be to the Son, who by his precious blood delivered me and opened for me the gates of heaven. Glory be to the Holy Spirit, who has sanctified me and continues to sanctify me by the graces I receive daily. Glory be to the three adorable persons of the Holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Subscribe to our free daily nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com This daily nugget is brought to you by Redeemed for Worship. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, also known as the CCC, gives light to this word. Let's reflect, and you soon will see. CCC reflection. Created using Powtoon.